my life and all my husband and my kids have always heard is how good I was at art and how my teacher at eight years old was saying no one could paint a sky like me but they're fed up they never saw it and one day when I was saying that my kids said mom do something about it and then they started giving me hints giving me all these presents at every birthday which I never used until one fine day I came across this leaflet for seasons art class and and you know what it just changed my life and I mean it literally, um, not just saying it because I've been asked this question now. Um, I've never looked back. I always knew I had it in me. I could paint, even though I haven't touched a brush for the last 35 years or whatever. So I really do enjoy it. I really do enjoy it. I look forward to my classes every Monday. And, um, and I look forward to going home and straight away my kids will be saying, what have you done? Mom, what's up? What have you painted today? And it's really nice. It's really nice. My husband's never been even proud of, I'm even one entrepreneur woman of the year, but he wasn't proud of it as much as he's proud of my paintings. <laughs> so it must be something good. You don't have to be a, um, an artist to come on the course. You don't have to know anything about art at all. Um, our classes are open for beginner to improver level, so you really can come in absolutely green, knowing nothing at all. We welcome that very much. We talk through the um, basics, the tools and the techniques for building up your, your own art, so you really don't need any experience at all to join us. So the students of the Seasons Art Class um, run through a program of classes that deal with uh, basic drawing skills, uh, working with pastels, watercolour, acrylic. We then have a lesson on um, basic mounting skills and then at the end we have an exhibition, which is a bit of a party really, to celebrate the work that they've done and to give them an opportunity to invite their friends and family to to gawp and wow at the beautiful art pieces that they have produced. Throughout that programme there is one-to-one uh, -one support from the art tutor but also from the classroom assistant as well so they're never left on their own. They get an opportunity to see an uh, experienced artist produce a work of art and show uh, techniques and tools with which to, to create beautiful works of art and then they have an opportunity to take those techniques and use those tools, see how they work, see what they feel like, have a bit of a play around and a practice with them, and then use that to produce uh, their own masterpieces. This is me at the end of my 14 week block with the Seasons Art Group. This is my third block I've done. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I uh, keep coming back for more. Um, we've done all different types of art. We've done watercolour, crayon, acrylic, and we have. Um, I came as a complete and utter novice. I'd never done any art since school time. Um, so I, I thought I could never do anything, and they proved me wrong. They proved that I could do things that I, I never thought was possible. Um, and they've been patient, they've been kind, they, they come round pointing in the right direction when you know you're doing something wrong. Um, I can't fault them, it's been a fantastic experience. I would certainly recommend a season art class to anyone really who is um, um, hoping to improve their painting and their um, understanding of colours, mixing colours and the different mediums. There's always an opportunity to um, get together with people who have uh, similar interests as you. We're in a room of people who like art, so you've already got that in common. Um, a lot of our students will get together and go on outings to galleries, um, might go out on a, a painting day to, to try painting or drawing outside as well. So it's a real sociable event as well as um, learning practical skills.
when people first come along, there's a sort of an element of feeling a little bit nervous and meeting new people and being sort of new at something. But once they settle in, and for Liz and I, we approach it very much hands-on. So we will take students through a project step by step to try and build that confidence. Had a taste of all the different mediums that you can, plus some really different approaches. So every single course has different mediums in them. So if you're a returning student, we might look at drawing and work on ink and wash. We might look at collage, we might look at different textured work, palette knife work. So no two courses are the same and you learn something new. Even if you're a returning student six, seven, eight times over, every course is different, you learn something new. There was a really good atmosphere in the class and people got to know each other very quickly and they, they really enjoy it. And there's a very sociable side to things and some very strong friendships have been formed through the Seasons Art class. And I think even when they stop coming to the class, as one day they, they will, they'll carry on with the friendships, which is really nice. And some of the students get together afterwards if they want to finish a painting that they didn't have time to do in class. They'll meet up maybe the next day over a glass of wine I don't know if that's a good idea, but anyway they do, they meet over a glass of wine and finish the painting and take it in the next week and get a critique. The benefits of joining the Seasons Art class is that you get to meet lots of new people who are like-minded. Um, you also get to improve on your skills. You can, what it's really good for is improving your confidence. So many students join saying, I can't draw, I can't paint but they've not really been given the skills to do that and so we help them do that and then they kind of go through the course getting better and better and better and it really improves their confidence. Well, the complete beginners that come to the class that have absolutely no experience at all uh, are amazed at how they progress because at the end of each lesson they've learned a lot more and they know a lot more than when they arrived and when they look back at the end of the 14 weeks they sort of go, wow, oh, I can't believe I did that. I found it excellent and really interesting. I didn't think, I mean I was always taller at school, I couldn't draw a straight line, but here they give you a ruler. It's so much easier. <laughs> yes, I've had it very good. I've, I've done several courses over the years, and this one I think is probably the best organised and the most important. It's very well organised. Yeah. Students will work in a variety of mediums with us. Um, we'll start with basic drawing skills, so using graphite pencils. Um, we'll spend some time talking through the tools and techniques around shading, basic mark making. We'll talk um, about uh, figurative work and um, enlarging and perspective as well. You get to the exhibition um, and um, you see everyone's work they've put up. Um, on the walls, in their modules, and you see it all mounted. Um, it's very rewarding and you feel very proud, um, and as they do, to see how far they've come from when they first stepped in on week one and um, really were unprepared for what wonderful pieces that they were going to produce. I worked with a, a student um, about five years ago now and um, she was brand new to art, was, hadn't done art for, for years and years and years and, and even then wasn't very confident at it. So she very bravely came to the classes to, to learn and to, to find out a bit about um, art, tools and techniques. And 
she found the process uh, to start with quite difficult. She was looking at other people's artwork and, and feeling that hers wasn't as, as good as other people's. She felt that hers was um, quite a, a basic style and, and not um, to the level that she was hoping for. And she found that quite difficult to, to deal with. We talked about it for, um, for quite a long time over a few lessons, um, trying to find out what she actually was, was aiming for and what she was looking for. And um, eventually we, we actually brought in some books on some naive folk artists, some very, very famous folk artists for her to have a look at. Because her artwork, although she was looking at it and, and seeing something quite basic, actually it was fantastic, absolutely fantastic artwork but in a different style to the lady who was sitting next to her. So we had a look through these um, art books of this, this naive folk style, and it was, a, it was a revelation for her, absolute revelation. She could see that her artwork actually was on a par of a very, very famous artist who was selling incredibly well and doing <laughs> terribly well in their career. And it, it, was a real, it was a real changing moment for her. Suddenly it wasn't about her work wasn't as good as this other person's. Her work was stylized. Her work was um, new and, and modern and uh, just a completely different approach. And she went on to develop that. And um, I think she's actually doing, um, I think she's got some work in the local gallery at the moment. So she's really gone with it and it's really become a, a wonderful outlet for her. And she's produced some beautiful artwork too. One of the things that's most interesting in listening to students talk about the course, um, and I've had both my daughters you know, do art at A-level and at university level, and people say that they don't learn any of the, the things that we teach. They're not taught them, even on a foundation course. Those basic, real um, fundamental skills aren't taught at A-level or even foundation, art foundation level. So there's a great deal that you can learn. The fact that you're doing something for people that are retired, uh, there are a lot of people that are retired that, that come and join us. Um, a lot of people whose children have gone off to university, so you have the em empty nest syndrome there. Um, and it's bringing people together. It's so nice to see people having a nice time. And there isn't enough, I don't think, for people that are retired, and I think this is kind of a good thing. Well, the students who come, they are a mixture of beginners to intermediates, and they love the classes because they're so well structured. They know exactly what they're do, doing each week and they've got a different project. It changes with the season. He's not just a great artist, he's a super tutor and a showman. So when he's doing his demo at the front, the students all watch it and he chats away and recently he was doing a, a demo of a pig in acrylics and he started off and he was working on it and it didn't really look like anything. You'd see the students thinking, oh, and all of a sudden he did a couple of brush strokes and it was a pig and it was amazing and he said, you know, as I'm doing this I'm reminded of my ex-wife and there was a the student, oh, really? And he said, yeah, it's not what you think. She's an artist too, and she's famous for her painted pigs. Um, I haven't done art since leaving school, which was not yesterday. Um, <laughs> and I wanted to see whether I still enjoyed art. So what I found particularly good was that it took you through styles and types of painting and just art that I hadn't done in a long time, or indeed before. So I, I really enjoyed that. I found it quite a nice change, challenging. 
Um, yeah, but it was it was certainly worthwhile coming back for a second. It was really good. I came back because I really enjoyed the first one so much. It was pure dead brilliant. I was <laughs> in Glasgow, um, but also because you know the I learned so much in a short time and enjoyed not only the class but the social side of things to you meeting new friends and. Um, it's very therapeutic in class as well. And Marion's home baking. And Marion's home baking. Marion's home baking, yes, that's We must favorite. mention Marion's home baking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they were saying you can pay the deposit, I've paid all of it because I don't want to miss my class in my, my session. They are very good teachers here. Like I said to you, I knew probably I could, but I didn't know what kind of paper to use, what kind of brush to use. These are the things sometimes they scare you. you but most people probably think, okay, what's the difference between acrylic and oil and, and uh, watercolors and oil pastels? And here, they, they take you step by step through everything.